So yesterday, when I was about to make a video uh, about Optimus Alpha, which now has 27 billion tokens used, which is completely nuts, I noticed this here, which is XAI, XAI Grok 3 Beta. Now, if you didn't know, it's been impossible to use Grok um, inside the API until pretty much this moment, until the 9th of April. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to test Grok and compare it to all of the different ones uh, that I've been testing recently. I'm going to be doing my own non-biased benchmarking and let's test it versus Sonnet and Gemini. By the end of this video, you by the end of this video, know whether Grok 3 is worth your time for coding or not. Let's get into it. Just before we get into this, guys, actually, please feel free to check out the school. I'm putting my heart and soul into this thing. We've got a backlinking course coming very, very soon from our backlinking expert at the agency. We have an entire SEO module here, which has my nine years of SEO inside it. And of course, we have the AI development basics, which includes everything that we'll be talking about in this video. And then finally, we have all of my prompts in the same place, including my SOPs. I'll be using this SOP in this video, and this is how I actually test LLMs. So in order to test this LLM, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building a uh, Next.js website. We'll call this Grok Rolls Royce, which will make sense in just a second. If you haven't seen one of my videos before where I do this, I'm going to be flying through this fairly quickly. But basically, I will be able to tell you with a great degree of certainty whether this model is worth your time in terms of coding or whether it's better to stick to Sonnet slash Gemini. Now, one thing that I did notice here is the cost. The cost is pretty high. This will cost a fair whack, to be honest with you. These, this is the same price as, um, the hell is it called? Sonnet uh, 3.7. I believe it's the same anyway. Uh, 3.15, that sounds right. Okay, once this is done, which it is, I'm just going to open a new window here and we'll go to the one that we did yesterday, which was Alpha Rolls Royce. That was using the new um, Alpha uh, whatever uh, model that I can't even remember the name of. Just for some context, this is what um, Alpha came up with, right? So this is kind of what we're comparing it against. Um, or if we want to compare it to Sonnet, we can compare it against this live website here. This is what Sonnet built basically one shot with a you know a little bit of editing here and there but basically it was a one shot so we're just going to grab these images from the project yesterday that i did so we'll just go to public here grab these images right this is what i do for every single one of these projects it's always the same so we'll now open the folder right this is called grok rolls royce so it should be there there we go select folder yes i trust press plus here we'll do public so public, sorry if I'm a little bit, like my mind is not working as, as quickly as it normally does uh, today. I uh, had quite a long day yesterday. So we've got images here and then we're just gonna feed this prompt to Klein like we always do. But before we do, of course, we're gonna change the model both for the plan mode and for the act mode, right? So it's called Optimus Alpha. This is the one that I was using last night. We'll do Grok here. Um, I believe this wasn't, it was not possible to do this until today or until yesterday. Is it Grok3 beta, beta? I hate that word, I always pronounce it incorrectly. What is the name of this model? Grok3 beta, yeah, okay. Grok3 beta, there we go. Does not support images, are you joking? Come on, bro. And then act mode here, we'll do the same thing. Grok3 beta. Um, is this default? I have no idea. So we'll press done here and then we'll just check. So that's plan, that's act mode and that's plan. Okay, beautiful. So we'll just go back to the SOP here. Like I said, you can get all of the SOPs first link in the description of this video. We'll just grab this uh, prompt here. And we'll put this directly into Grok3 plan mode and we'll hit enter here. This is now going to go through and plan the project. And I'll be able to tell you very quickly and very easily if this is actually worth our time or not. So looking at the files, it's actually managed to see that it's actually in Grok Rolls Royce, even though I didn't change the name, which is quite funny. Um, okay, this is looking pretty good. Could you please um, just use placeholders? That's fine, just use placeholders. This isn't going live. Okay, I wanna see a really, really in-depth plan here. I don't wanna see um, playwright font. That's what it always chooses. So let's see. 
services, locations, design, modern, good, gold, okay, always seems to do gold. All of these LLMs seem to have a very similar style, right? Gold, Montserrat, images, icons, SVGs, URL structure visualization. This is pretty good. It's got a pretty good uh, plan here. It doesn't seem like it actually needs a second plan mode. So we'll just literally switch to act here and then it should create this project. Now, what I'm curious to see, this is this is how this benchmarks work, ben benchmarks. This is how this benchmark works. This is my own personal benchmark, okay? So we're comparing it to Rolls-Royce Rent.it, which was created by um, Sonnet 3.7 on the day of release of Sonnet. This was obviously, there was a lot more prompting here, but it basically one shot everything you can see here. So we're looking at the use of font, the use of color, the use of images, right? Whether there are any immediate errors on uh, starting the project, right? Um, which on models like DeepSeek, there are errors. On models like Gemini 2.5 and Sonnet 3.7, there are no errors. We're looking at the uh, module blocks, right? So there should be modular blocks like this and then like this, etc. Um, what else is there? Animations. We'll definitely be looking to see if there's any animations. The prompt does mention animations, I believe. So we're, we'll hope that there's some animations there as well. Use of iconography or icons, right? Very, very important. Can it create SVGs and does it know how to use those SVGs like you can see here? Uh, CTAs, like use of CTAs, having a different color for the CTAs, things like that, having a good header and footer, right? So this is how the benchmark works, right? If it has a good font, it's a pass. If it has good use of color, it's a pass. If it uses image as well, pass. If there are no errors, pass. If it has three to five to seven vertical um, modular blocks, it's a pass. If there are some animations, icons, CTAs, and header and footer, then it's a pass as well. So we can see here, there are some TypeScript errors already, we can see, but that might just be from um, some installation or whatever. We'll, we'll see how this goes, we'll see how this goes. Right, so just so everyone knows, I'm not coding. I'm gonna be leaving this now and just letting it run for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. If I send another prompt here and say continue or anything like that, I will tell you guys. Otherwise, it's just Brock doing everything itself. We'll be back 10, 15 minutes. It's currently 18.02, 6.02 p.m. Uh, it's a beautiful day in Ireland. Let's see how this does. Okay, so it's done this thing where it says attempt completion, right, which means task complete. I'm going to run this once and just see what it looks like. I'm not going to count this as it being done. Um, I'm just going to see if it actually works, right, as a website, first of all. And then we go to slash en here. Okay, we've got no content here whatsoever, right? So that doesn't mean it's failed, right? We're just going to say, currently, this is just the boilerplate Next.js installation on the home page. Please make the website production ready, including absolutely everything to get the website live. So this is always the second prompt, right? There's, there's always, I'm going to be really, really fair, right? So there's the plan prompt, there's the prompt one, right? Which is just switching to act mode. And then there's the second prompt, which is like finish, right? I will only judge things on their finished prompt, not on their pre-finished prompt, right? One thing to definitely note here is this is currently costing me three dollars. I wouldn't even say we're that close to having a production ready website. So in terms of cost compared to like how good it is, not going to give it to Grok so far. Okay, guys, look, I'm not in the business of trying to defend Elon Musk's project or make XI seem better than this. This is total trash. Like it, it's not. It's it, it's given me nothing. Um, yeah, you can just see that it's just not, it, it's not even working. I'm just trying to see anything here, but yeah. Right. Okay, so, so far it's spent $6, right? It's worse than the model that I tested yesterday. 
So it's worse than Optimus Alpha, <laughs> which is pretty funny, to be honest with you. I find that hilarious. I, I really do. I find that so funny. It's got a terrible context window. What are we doing here? Like, what, what, why are you wasting everyone's time? Just, if you can't compete, don't compete. I would give Grok a 2 out of 10, worse than Deep Seek uh, at the moment. Now, I don't know how it does on benchmarks. I don't really look at benchmarks. I don't care about benchmarks. I have my own benchmarks. I really suggest having your own benchmarks too that uh, no one else is using. The reason being is just like Llama 4. Llama 4 cheated on benchmarks. It, it's like, it's so obvious. It's crazy that they cheated, right? Anyone that thinks that they didn't cheat probably doesn't, probably doesn't understand, right? Probably doesn't understand these things. Have your own, ben have your own benchmarks, guys. Don't focus on, don't, don't use other people's benchmarks. It's very, very easy to cheat on them. This is completely terrible. I don't know, I don't even know what's going on. Can't even see my own website. Absolute madness. This is the worst test I have done. It's also one of the most expensive tests I've done. Don't use this model, guys. Literally, just use, for now anyway, if you're thinking of using Grok, use Optimus Alpha because, yeah, it's, it's free, right? It's free, it's got a million context, and it does a better job than Grok. Grok, very disappointed, mate. You're going to have to catch up or just stop trying to compete. Stop with this, oh, we're the cool one. No one cares if you're cool. People care if you can code, right? Or you can do something useful. If you can't do useful things for people, there's no point being an AI, right? I'm sorry, but there's just not. I'm gonna leave the video there, guys. This is just going in an infinite loop of nothingness. It's it's not working whatsoever. It's not showing me anything. Thanks for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend. Don't waste your time with this shit or money. Peace out.